Hey there, Fun Food fans. We have finished all of the roasting, all of the cooking, all of the baking, and all of the general cleanup here. And now it is time to assemble this terrific turkey celebratory meal. Come on down and see what we've got here. <laughs> Alrighty, so right up front here, you can see my salad. I can go ahead and set that aside because that's not part of our assembly here. For the meal what I do have is one of our big beautiful cranberry studded sweet potato rolls I'm gonna use my fork this is still so hot it left sweat on the plate um, and I'm just gonna use my fork to kind of cut into the side here to tear open this roll what I love about big soft dinner rolls like this is they are the perfect delivery vehicle for so many things. And actually, hmm, <laughs> just tasting a bit of this fresh doughy bread. Oh, can you just look at that crumb? It's nice and soft and tender. Mmm, a little sweet from the sweet potato and the cranberry. Mmm. But the texture of that potato really makes it nice and moist. All right, so we're going to put that down. And I'm going to make a little protective layer here with my gravy. Now, I'm sure many of you guys have done this before. The day after a big celebratory meal. But this feels so much different just because everything was made fresh, specifically for today. In fact, I'm going to take just a little pinch of salt on the turkey drumstick here that I shredded, and I'm going to add a little grind of fresh black pepper to the freshly shredded meat. And it is so tender and flavorful already. That's really all it needs. I'm going to toss a little bit of that together, and then I'm going to pile some of this right up here onto my bread. Mm -hmm. Now normally when I have a sandwich of leftovers, the meat might have felt dried out a little bit or the bread would have felt a little older and stale. And so you feel like you want to add a whole bunch of stuff to it. But honestly, in this case, I really don't. It's so simple. And I've got all the flavors together here that I want. So I just want to kind of pile it all on top here. Ooh, okay, there we go. And I'm gonna put some more gravy on top. But I have all of the fantastic flavors here with the cranberry, the sweet potato, the turkey, and the gravy right here on my sandwich. Oh, that feels so amazing. All right, and oh, off on the side here, <laughs> this bowl, these are the vegetables that we rough chopped and roasted underneath our drumstick. So they were propping up the whole thing. But I am not throwing these out. And let me tell you, I want to look you in the eye when I say this. I don't trust recipes that tell you to discard or throw away all these amazing flavorful components. When you're finished, don't throw them out. Use them, enjoy them, they're fantastic. <laughs> For today, we're just gonna eat these on the side. This was green garlic, you remember? So the whole head itself was already um, much more tender than a mature head of garlic. Uh, and this is our onion that started to just kind of dissolve. Oh, that looks amazing. What you could do uh, if you prefer, you can separate these again or put them together and blend them up into a nice little puree. They make a wonderful, flavorful addition to some mashed potatoes. And they're also great turned in with some cornbread or like a stuffing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but for today, I'm just going to pile some of these on the side of my plate. All right, shall we dive in? <laughs> Take a little taste, here we go.
just the tiniest little bit here. I want to get a little bit of everything. The gravy, a little bit of the turkey. Oh, and this bread is so soft and tender. I'm trying not to tear and scratch into my plate. Okay, here we go. Ooh, the anticipation. Mmm. <laughs> I am in heaven. Mmm. There is a reason that we don't often cook whole roasted birds and five different sides and pile them all together for a big feasting meal, but maybe we should do this more often. You know, it's not just about separating the ingredients from the season or bringing them together, it, because all of these are in season. These are all local and available right now. So this is amazing. But at this time, right now, when we are all so incredibly focused on being appreciative and aware of all of the amazing privileges that we have, what better time to really take the food and the flavors and, and the ideas of thanksgiving and celebration and purposefully separate them from these seasonal dates that we have set aside historically to celebrate horrors like genocide and the systemic racism that continue to permeate every aspect of our society. And this isn't just in the United States. I'm talking about all around the world. Right now, everybody is taking a much closer look at how and when and where and why we do the things that we do. And as a chef, <laughs> the, the ideas of celebrating at Thanksgiving, I, that has been a part of the cultural heritage with which I was raised. But we can celebrate, we can embrace our culture, and we can do it in a way that is both culturally aware and racially sensitive too. <laughs> I'm gonna go and celebrate, like my family and I have been celebrating all month long, 20 years of marriage. Can you believe that, sweetie? <laughs> so I'm gonna go take my plate over to the dinner table and celebrate with my family. And I hope that you take the components of this, whether you decide to make a whole enormous feast in the middle of summer or not, <laughs> bits and pieces of the components and use them in your kitchen classroom at your leisure and celebrate with your family, whatever the season. <laughs> I will see you in the next video. <laughs>